Hello and welcome to Asteroid. In this video, we'll be looking at configuring and enabling the header element of your Asteroid framework template. The header element consists of your logo, your mega menu, your mobile menu, and your off canvas menu position as well. If you do not require a header or decide to publish a custom logo and a custom menu, you can just disable the header element and all the items, including the logo, the mega menu, mobile menu, and off canvas menu will be hidden from your page. If you do decide to publish it, the very first thing is to make sure your header is assigned to a module position that exists in your layout manager. Right now I have it assigned to asteroid header and I'll go into the layout manager real quick to verify that I have the asteroid header position and there you go. Once you do have it published to a module position, there are six different header modes to select from and a visual representation of them shows what each of them have. So the first one, you can see you have the logo on the left, the menu in the center, and one block to the right. And I'll go ahead and explain what the blocks are here in a second. The second one, you have logo in the left, menu in the center, and block to the right. We'll go ahead and select this one. Now blocks are really useful here. You can use a block to either publish a module position or publish some content. In this case, I'll just publish some custom HTML here. I'll go ahead and save it. And when I refresh the page, we should have our logo to the left, menu in the center, and hello asteroid to the right of the menu. And there you go. We can have this position where the menu is aligned to the right. there you go. You can use the blocks to even publish a module position. I'll give an example of that here real quick. So in block one, I'll select module position and then I can select what module position I want to display here. So let's say I select search. And if I refresh, you can see I have search here. The reason I have search here is because I had published a module earlier to the search module position. So anything published to this position would appear in the menu. Now that's how blocks work with module positions. Let's go over the other three header layouts, the stacked ones as we call it. In this first layout, you can have the logo at the very top, the menu below that, and a block below that. Let's save and see how it looks. And there you go. Now, again, this isn't limited to search. Let's try publishing something else here. I'll go ahead and publish the social icons here. So I'll select this position and make sure my social icons are published to the asteroid top social position. refresh and as you can see I have the social icons here. The reason they appeared here as well because I have the same position selected here. The second stacked position is where the menu is evenly separated to the left and the right. We have a block at the top, we have a block at the bottom and then you have the logo in the center of the menu. There you go. And here you can see I have a total of six menu items. In case I had a hard, hard number, let's say seven menu items, you can decide where you want the extra menu item to be positioned, either to the left or to the right of the logo. And since this one gives us two blocks, let's go ahead and publish our second block as well, which will publish search on this one. Go ahead and refresh it, and there you go. In the third layout, we have the logo and the menu to the very left, and then we have two blocks to the right of it. 
you can have the social icon search let's swap them so we have search on the top and social icons at the bottom and there you go and again blocks is something that is useful but you may not need it you may just want to have blank space there so you can select blank which is nothing and that would completely remove these additional module positions and all you have is your logo and your menu items the next setting is selecting the menu that appears now in Joomla you can obviously have a few different menus right now I have the main menu selected you can select a footer menu or or any other menus you have in your Joomla menu manager I'll go ahead and select a footer menu real quick just to see what it looks like and there you go that's your footer menu now in some cases you know in even in our case where our mo mega menu is really big we may not want to have the same menu on mobile and that's where this setting comes in where you can have a different menu for mobile as compared to your desktop so I have the footer menu for mobile and I have the main menu for desktop so there we go we have the main menu for desktop and if I go to mobile you can see I have the footer menu there the next setting is the animations for your drop down as you can see right now they're fading from the bottom I can select another one which is let's say bounce from the left so they look like they're coming from the left end of the page there you go you can have two different type of logos you can either have an image logo or if you can have just a text logo let's save the text logo just to show you what it looks like It's taking a second to save. Text, save, and there you go. And that's your text logo. If we do switch back to the image logo, you can upload a different mobile logo as well. In this case, I'll select, uh, let's say this image as a mobile logo. I go ahead and save it preview and we have our desktop logo but you can see when I go to mobile I have a different logo there so this can be very useful as well then comes the sticky header setting now the sticky header is something that you know where the header becomes sticky so I'll enable it and show it to you I think that's the best way to explain it So as you can see right now my header is sticky you know so when I scroll down I can see the header here now I can have a totally different logo for the sticky header as well so I'll go ahead and select this image as my sticky header logo which is a different image and as you can see I have this logo on desktop this image loading up on sticky and then this guy this fellow on mobile now under sticky header you can select a few different settings as to if you want the header to be sticky or if you want the header to be sticky only when the user is trying to scroll up this setting can be very useful I'll give an example of what it looks like so right now I have the header sticky which means as soon as I scroll down the header is gonna take like five six percent of the space but what if I don't need it what if I only need it when the user is trying to scroll back up so as you can see I'm going down I have the sticky header the minute I try to scroll back up the header is there and this setting again can be very useful you can have a different setting for mobile devices as well this is very useful because on mobile devices you only have so much space so you may not want to have a sticky header or you may want to have a sticky header for desktop but only sticky on scroll up for mobile 
The last setting in the header is the off canvas menu. Enabling the off canvas menu would bring another menu icon here on desktop as well. There you go. That's our off canvas menu. Now the off canvas menu, the way it works is it just creates a module position. So anything published to the off canvas position would be visible in this menu. You can decide whether you only want it on desktop devices, you want it on mobile devices, you want it on medium sized devices and whatnot. You can even change the width of the off canvas panel. For instance, I'll change it to 300 pixels. And then you have the off canvas animation, a few different animations to select from. Here's a demo of the push animation. And again, the way content appears in off canvas is you have to publish modules to the off canvas position. Let's try moving our social icons to the off canvas position. I'll go ahead and change the position for this to off canvas. Refresh, you'll see they disappear from here and appear in the off canvas. And that's it, that's our header. Thank you so much for watching and we have other videos covering the rest of the sections.